Parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's episode 311. It's not like the band. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're here live in Pittsburgh, PA, Mayhem Studios, and I got a big crew with me doing stuff back there and and stuff. Um, with us on the couch, as typical, is Mr. Chachi Says. Not here. He can't he, see me. He's not here. Can't see me. Of the new insert coin to begin dot com. <laughs> do, I, do I need to uh, plays dot com? Do you want me to drop a promo? Bust out in a promo. Just, I can steal the rocks promos. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Is it on your wrist? No. No. No, not that one. Is Chachi okay. gonna call me a transvestite? Every rock promo ever written. Ready? Yes. Electricity. Big penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I imagined with rock pro. You forgot to mention. And then, uh, oh, I, for, in no, the I forgot pie and uh, jabroni. I'm sideways. sorry. And balls. Yeah, and balls. And this is trending now. No, that's a new and one. Trend. I was okay. sticking with the old okay. one. And also joining us from San Antonio, Texas. Hi. The, the taint of America. <laughs> <laughs> the wrestle fan. Chachi, this is my intro. Uh, yes, so um, I'm here in the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's Wrestling Mayhem Show 311. I'm excited, and I'm not the Tane of America. Let's just move on. Sometimes I think you're starting your own podcast when I throw to you. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes he is. Also join us from Johnstown, PA, where they no longer have sci-fi in the valley, is Bobby yeah. FJ Town. How you doing? What is that? I have a gummy shark. Okay. <laughs> what else matters this week? <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> in the gummy pool. Uh, also joining us from the outer outer reaches of your mind is the Riz. 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 Hey, yeah, yeah, Riz. What the hell? Did you oh no, Riz. Riz is gone. <laughs> what happened oh, to no. you? <laughs> I thought I heard a rock promo, so I took the <laughs> <laughs> and I fell asleep. <laughs> Big penis! <laughs> Electricity! Aww, oh, well, he naps and also join us is Wheels! Hi, folks. It's me. You know, the guy that likes to get killed by Phil Bad at shows and Shane Ta Taylor. <laughs> you got fly? Is that what happened? Uh, no. <laughs> anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, where we, we're fans, we're fans, and we're talking wrestling. And, uh, and that's about Except it. Except for wrestle fans. Except for wrestle fans. Electricity! Yeah. Big <laughs> penis! Totally Smackdown jabroni! <laughs> we're no holds bar. We do whatever the fuck we want on this show. And you can find out more about us over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Just recently redesigned. So uh, we divided up the shows and the articles and everything, including Mad Mike's Impact You're Report. You're welcome. <laughs> is is your banner welcome. up yet, Sorg? What? For the Wrestling Mayhem, the new banner. The new banner? Oh, we did not use the yes. Wrestling Mayhem. Chachi show probably doesn't know about yet. the new banner. No, he because he doesn't watch the show. The show. He, he doesn't know the glory of the new yeah. banner because he doesn't listen to the show. And if you didn't listen to the show, you should go listen last week because it's really good. We, we're talking to people from a movie. We're talking to people uh, that have muscle worshiping uh, ceremonies. I'm not oh, yeah, cutting to your camera right now. <laughs> um, yeah, Chachi wouldn't know Oprah that. Was here. But you would know that if you went to WrestlingMayhemShow.com and checked out the videos from the uh, past episodes and the articles, of course. I'm cutting I <laughs> What's going on? What the, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Is that a beer pot? No, <laughs> That's his hand. I was making a hand motion. That's a that Chachi sort, hand. Sort of wouldn't cut to you on my camera. You can also follow us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. Uh, with all your thoughts and suggestions and everything. Also, you can email us at... Good time! Good it's always times. missing that 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 that, Good times. that specific falsetto whenever LB isn't here. Good times. And, uh, um, you can also drop us a line at 412-206-WMS-0-9670-9670. Wow. 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 And you can also wow. look us up. We're on Google Plus. We're on Facebook. Uh, we have a great Facebook group that's really hopping these days, so please go check that out. Um, you can also check out the Mayhem Show Gold app on uh, iOS and Amazon and Android stores uh, for all those kinds of devices. Riz has got it right there. Easy access to everything Mayhem, uh, including all the ways to contact us and 
all the shows and special bonus content. My God, the stuff you're going to miss this week. There was singing. There was a. There was a. There's noises. Yeah, Chachi, There's Brady the bunching uh, in the pants. You can also look us up on <laughs> iTunes, Blip TV, YouTube, uh, all that kind of stuff on your Roku box. You can watch the show on your big screen. You probably don't want to do that, but eh, it's nice. Um, hey. What? <laughs> I'm a sexy boy. So, yes, you want to watch it on the big screen. Oh, Chachi's you not your boy you toy. Right. Okay. So we line. got some email. <laughs> no, we didn't. We got some email. No, we didn't. We got an email. Who wants to read the email? No email. Nobody. Qu- nobody. Nobody tagged us in the thing. Um, I didn't get any email. No, that never works. It never works. <laughs> Where? Did I take the email, Sorg? I got Bob it. Wrestle fan. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, Chachi. Has Go it. ahead. Apparently, because there's email now. Will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Mid attitude crisis. Greetings, mayhemification station. No, that's not what it says. Yes, it is. Yeah, I thought I mispronounced it, but nope, that's what it says. Mayhemification station. I'm not sure, but something tells me there's some sort of big pay per view on the horizon. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's not bound for glory, but big, but kind of large nonetheless. What? I'm sure it's not bound for glory big, but kind of large nonetheless. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why I have this feeling. Could be my gut. Or perhaps it could be the 15 promos from Raw last night. Little Jiminy Cricket, stop beating us over the head with the Roxena hype. That match is a casual fan draw. I'm already on board with Punk Jericho, so stop badgering me. It's worse than the Sports Illustrated shoe phone commercial. (laughs) What? No Uh, idea. Anyway, when not pandering, Raw had some high points. I thought the United States Championship match was a lumberjack match by the time all the general managers, valets, lackeys, and two turtle tubs got to ringside. However, Santino is the U.S. champ. Maybe his crowd appeal in rocket boots push will bring the mid card out of the basement. I feel sorry for Jack Swagger, though. I haven't seen a new hairstyle go that bad since Samson. <laughs> so, Zach, it was a Bible reference. I get it. Okay. <laughs> I've been to church. Okay. Liar. So, Zach Ryder's return to start a feud with Eve. Did Eve get some lipstick from River Song? Bad angle aside, I like the cane, courtesy of Kane. I hope Ryder and Kane performs putting Five on the points. Ritz at Mania. Five points for the River Song reference. The fire won't even freak out Kane like it did Peter Boyle. Look up Young Frankenstein, Russell fan. I do give you points for that one. If WrestleMania has to have a streak match, I would rather see Big Show break his losing streak and get Cody's title instead of watching Taker part do times ten. That's that's twenty. Twenty for you, Russell fan. <laughs> Adding Shawn Michaels has narrowed the possibilities to number one. Michaels helps Triple H win, thus giving Taker an honorable way out. Or two, Michaels burning Triple H to put Taker over without burying Triple H. I hope Michaels helps the Undertaker win, and after the Taker takes his usual 12 months off, there's a triple threat ladder retirement match. Suspend a walker above the ring, and whoever gets it can use it to gimp away and retire with whatever dignity they have left. Wow. That is the greatest match ever. <laughs> the best part all is... all the awesomeness of the Triple H-Kevin Nash ladder match, and put it into WrestleMania with Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. And a walker. And a walker. <laughs> the, then or the, hover around. The best part is that the fans are declared the winners. But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Have a great show, guys. Sonic Screwjob. Yes, my condolences to the Miz for taking over John Morrison's job. That's in quotes, because that's what he's <laughs> I been saw doing. what he did there. Yeah. <laughs> Russell fan, he was saying that Miz is jobbing now. Oh, <laughs> in case you couldn't figure that out. Yeah. Losing to the barking kangaroo can't be too far away. There we go. There you go. That's it. All right. Well, I guess uh, the the next one is in the territory of the wrestle fan. So we'll uh, wait a second for that. Uh, Let's let's check in with the caption comment. Uh, uh, 
I'm sorry, caption contest where I think uh, uh, Sonic Sonic Screwjob has has won by volume. Um, <laughs> uh, if you didn't check out uh, of our Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com, we have this picture that's from Texas Anarchy Wrestling. Uh, Anarchy Champions for Wrestling. Be close I enough. Don't, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, where the Russell fan here is very close to the action. Uh, so we asked you to submit your <laughs> questions and every, or I'm sorry, your captions. And uh, do you have the, do you have it over there, Chad? Yeah. Do you have a sharpie? I'll sign it. You'll sign it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the winner of the caption contest wins half points. Undertaker Triple H. There you go. Yay. There you go. So Autographed I, by me. Again, if we I can find a sharpie. If we can find a sharpie, I got a uh, purple one upstairs. We'll find one. We'll find one. Um, but but he submitted even more captions for this week. So um, let's see. This new 3D chat roulette app is amazing. Uh, extra cast reel number 124 for the Black Swan. No callback. Uh, audience <laughs> members who are pregnant, nursing, or who have a history of, of high blood pressure, heart, or back problems are not recommended to watch this sports entertainment product. Uh, quote, if you stare into the abyss long enough, the abyss stares back at you. What? Um, caution splash zone. This is why most people count sheep when they are sleepy. Russell fan opens his, <laughs> Russell fan opens his first high-speed proctology clinic. And, and finally... And my favorite... Worst lap dance ever. <laughs> so there you go. I, I think we're going to close it at this point and award the winner. I thought you guys were going to close it to, last week. To Sonic. Well, yeah. you weren't here, and I thought it was your well, you contest. Weren't here. So. It's just an overall contest I had an idea for. I know. You just decide, hey, we're going to yeah. Sorg mail this to somebody. Right. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> it's just yet to be determined who it's getting mailed to. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bob it, send us your uh, send me your email and that'll get out here. No, not shortly. your email. Not your email. Yes, I wouldn't shove it through the internet. Email. Fix <laughs> it. it to him. We I, we I, need I, your I, physical I, mailing address to send you your autographed half pints. Sorg, I know those half pints are small, but I don't think they'll fit in your router. Oh, you don't know Sorg's power. <laughs> yes. You haven't seen my router lately. Oh. 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 That sounded oh, dirty. Right, moving on. Uh, that's uh, Russell, the are you trying are to so Russell far. fan, it's your turn. Are you trying to say that your router is a butthole? What? Russell fan, how is much your, any news? Is your router I, a butthole? I, I heard Chachi talking and I didn't want to interrupt. Bullshit. <laughs> what stopped you before? Right. Chachi, you may want us to just. Hey, go ahead. hold on. Let me let me do the indie news. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the indie minute this week to show him no, how fine, it's done. That's fine. It's Chachi's no, week. Right, wait, okay. Wait. Ready? Wait. Wait. I want to time you. Oh, Ready? Man. Ready? Ready? Set. Ready? Ready. Go. Welcome to the indie minute. All right, that's all I have for you this week on the indie <laughs> minute. We'll. Uh, said stuff happened. We'll, we'll do it next week. <laughs> Wrestle fan, go for it. I hate. Oh come on! I just did the indie minute. We don't need him anymore. <laughs> oh really? That wasn't a minute, Chachi. Okay. The indie two seconds. Four point eight seconds. I covered everything in indie Man, wrestling I that happened this weekend. Since howdy, mate, hammers. <laughs> Since, since Waffle Boy isn't the only one who goes to these independent wrestling shows, I wanted to let anyone in the, my neck of the woods know that on March 23rd, I will be attending Northeast Wrestling. Some of the big matches include John Morrison versus Finley, Melina versus Velvet Sky, Matt Hardy with Reby Sky will be there. I will be attempting to get a Get the Tasers chant started. Who's Reby Sky? A Reby. No, I don't care. Rebby. She's not Rebby. important to me. I thought it was Reby. I thought she doesn't matter. Uh, hey, but Kipsy Street and a six-man ladder match featuring Tommy Dreamer. Oh yeah, and the Ultimate Freaking Warrior. Who's oh gonna be there. yeah. No so any chant ideas or things you guys want me to try and do, talk about on the show. Get an interview with the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was too afraid to interview the Head Hunter Saturday. That's you can probably get the guys on the seventh but, day. But I, I, I have a question for Mister Mad Mike. Because he says he wants chant ideas for this show, but Wrestle Fan and not Wrestle Fan sent me a video this yesterday. Oh yes, indeed. Was it yesterday? Uh, I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Of pro, of in the ROH tenth anniversary show, they did a yes chant. Hold on, where is this? 
It may be on the Wrestling Mayhem Show fan page on Facebook.com slash something. <laughs> something. <laughs> Whatever there. it's called. Fucking jackass. <laughs> and, <laughs> Whoa. Here, I, I just posted it on the site. I'm not the on only the, uh, one thing. yelling at Wrestle Fan. Because oh, <laughs> you're an asshole. You're an asshole. I actually can't find it on the group. I put it. I posted it's in the, in the chat room. Chat. Okay. It's in the chat room. All right, I'll bring it up. No, right. Right. Anyways, anyways lady, you were saying. It's in the chat room. Anyways, Matt and Mike said that these are ROH bots who think they're smarter than everyone else will turn this is into another distracting thing at ROH shows like Twinkies. What? And yet, I, he wants to to do, I have no Twinkies. idea what that's saying. All right, all right, here's the video that you guys are talking about. Let me bring yeah. up the audio. <laughs> One world heavyweight champion. How right, you, how, I'm sorry, that's but fun. Mike, how do you hate that? Dude, that's the awesome part of like something on yeah. this level. That's what we love about this stuff. The unfortunate part is that we're we're distracted by it because they're jackasses at TNA and they champ really stupid stuff and it comes off because it's the same people and that's yeah. th- that's different than Ring of Honor. Um Ring of Honor, that's the point of Ring of Honor. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's that, that, that really is, you know? I, I, and I, I mean, you're, you're talking to the guys that started the bum champ for Dennis Gregory and started bringing change. You know? I did it! I mean, there was a. I yeah, mean, it's not like you brought a megaphone to a wrestling event like some <laughs> other people. Know like, about. like, apparently, WrestleFan and I both, ex- or Chachi both experienced, because I didn't see the megaphone yeah. guy on Saturday. Yeah, spoiler so. alert, it wasn't Jimmy Hart. <laughs> exactly exactly um no i think there's people having fun I, I don't know there's an argument that some people in the crowd are trying to get themselves over and trying to be part of the show but yeah everybody wants to be part of the show by being part of the crowd and cheering and chanting that's the and one thing about indie wrestling that you don't get in wwe or even tna exactly exactly so i don't know i i, I think especially in a show like this i mean uh, that's that's where it goes, you know. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we go we go to WWE shows and we we try to chant ridiculous stuff, and it's harder <laughs> to get over because there's less, you know, you can't get everybody that big of a crowd with you a lot of times. Um, but still, I I don't know. It's a uh, if anything, it was a tribute. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's fine. That's speaking fine. of speaking of Ring of Honor. Yes, they did have the 10th year anniversary this past weekend. That was the, uh, from the footage that we showed. Great event uh, with the main event of uh, Adam Cole and Eddie Edwards picking up the win over Davey Richards and Kyle O'Reilly. With surprisingly, Adam Cole, who is sort of slowly making his way up, but still very young in his career, beating the ROH champion Davey Richards. So that's going to definitely um, be an interesting turn uh, into what's going to go on in Ring of Honor. Definitely want to see what comes out from that. You, I believe you can still order the pay-per-view on demand. Um, so definitely go check that out if you haven't seen I Heard. It was a great event. Um, also in pay-per-view world, um, Women Superstars and Censored, uh, WSU, held their big pay-per-view event uh, this past uh, uh, Saturday. Um, their, I believe, six-year anniversary show. So a lot of I pay-per-views, a lot of anniversary shows. Uh, capping off with Jessica Havoc uh, winning the WSU uh, Women's Championship by beating Mercedes Martinez ending Mercedes Martinez three year long reign as a WSU champion. So that was a big night for uh, her. Uh, Once again, you can also order that pay-per-view on demand with a lot of good stuff coming from that. Um, Also, I'm going to mention our friends over at AIW absolute intense wrestling. They held gauntlet for the gold on Saturday as well, um, which was a very great show. Um, Capping it off with the in-ring return, the, um, of uh, AIW star, but also star around the, uh, you know around many different companies on the indie scene. Johnny Gargano, friend of the show, made his return after his back injury that he suffered uh, a while back around the um, the closing of the ECW arena. So uh, he made his official in ring return at AIW, and I believe he did win the uh, Gauntlet for the Gold. So uh, very good stuff from that. Um, also, I'm going to uh, shoot it over because I know you, some people here on the show uh, were at uh, IWC Combat in Clearfield this past weekend um, for a very interesting 
event. Uh, yeah, so it was it was really interesting, and unfortunately, my cameraman just walked out the door. Uh, oh, no. So, uh... Oh, for one moment, I need you, Chachi. Yeah, I know, right? Um, well, you know him. He doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about it. It's, 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 he tries to forget about it. Um, but yeah, uh... I, I it, get too close to muscles. He got too close to muscles and nuns in red pumps and 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 everything like that. We'll have the teaser up here at the break. Uh, but it was a it was a fun show, um, as you can see uh, on the video. Uh, there's there was, a, there, there was a little oh, bit of the, of the uh, uh, ceremony. Um, a good match between uh, uh, Facade and Shulo, um, you know, to close out the show. Uh, nice, like I think it was about 15, 20 minutes. It felt like uh, of, of that. Um, great stuff with Dalton Castle, of course. Um, geez, I don't. It, it, the month, I, I believe. I believe from what I saw in like the pre, Dalton Castle is wearing a peacock mask now. Uh, well, no, he's, he's been, been he's been that. doing that. He's been oh, he has that. been. Well, that's that makes him even more so, amazing. <laughs> um, but it was a fun show. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, biggest thing facade retains out of uh, because of uh, what happens at the end of this match, which you'll have to buy the DVD to find out or read the results. And um, you can buy the DVD where sword at sorgatronmedia.com. <laughs> <laughs> cheap plug is cheap. Or you can buy that DVD. Yeah, you know. Not the only that, but the entire really. collection of IWC wrestling DVDs dating back to 2002, featuring such stars. As current WWE <laughs> champion CM Punk and a lot of other great talent. Yeah, that was the greatest thing because well, Missy's been working the DVD table for us, and we have a lot of the back catalog there we've inherited, and there's a lot of old stuff with like Samoa Joe, and of course there's the CM Punk best subs uh, that Tony F made uh, last year, and, uh, and and people are walking up and and Clearfield, you know, the Clearfield's only had about six shows I think over the last three years, and that's been their experience. A lot of these guys' experience with IWC, they don't know the history of it that's been around for ten years. Had all these guys, and th she said there was guys coming up and said, "I had no idea CM Punk was a part of this. I had no idea S Samoa Joe was was a part of this." And they're like, "I'll be back," and then they came back and bought the new DVDs, anyways. Um, but uh, I know Chachi had a little bit of an experience. One, he was worried about the lumberjack match he didn't know about until he walked in. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which wasn't even the problem. No, it wasn't the problem at all. <laughs> um, first, let me let me point off by saying I don't know if you guys saw it, but CM Punk actually mentioned IWC on Twitter yes, this week. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Because he said he was they're putting together. A DVD mm -hmm. for him, and I guess he's going through that footage. Yeah, yeah. He, so. he mentioned a bunch of promotions that he's been to, so I, I I don't imagine him having IWC footage per se, but I'm sure he has like pictures or, or if it's that that in depth, he probably has like pictures where he mentions it or something like that. Because I know Norm yeah. Connors was a big part of a lot of these guys yeah. uh, coming up and stuff. You know. Um, but first, I have to uh, point out that Missy wants uh, Waffle Boy to interview Morrison's abs, or Mad Mike interview Morrison's abs for Mayhem Missy. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, I was going to say, I'm not touching that with a four-foot pole. That means his penis. Yeah. There's no <laughs> way his penis is four foot. He can't measure. <laughs> it's like a horse. I'm like the rock or something. Shut uh, up. Uh, That's my uh, gimmick anyway. tonight. Giant penis electricity. Oh, you check on Riz? Yep, he's asleep. <laughs> yeah, he's but, uh, asleep. Yeah. I, no, I, I don't think that was The Rock. I think that, it was my indie man. That, that wasn't is, even... Is, that is was The Rock's penis a Sith Lord? All right, enough penis. Back to Chachi's story. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that wasn't even the worst part. Uh, like, two matches before that, Hentai and uh, Marshall had a match mm -hmm. that started out outside the ring. Yeah. That I kept tripping on shit. <laughs> Trying to get out of their way, like I slipped Pedro on a chair. Saves, Pedro's really good. Oh, he I, saves your ass. When I love. I up. love Pedro. Dude well, was at the uh, the. I guess it's the Pedro table. Pedro's a ring announcer. Yeah, he's and, a, he's a ring his... announcer for IWC, and uh, okay. he he ran out so many times to uh, unstick my cord or. Mm -hmm. Uh, to make sure that I was getting out that of the way. Sounded mm -hmm. bad. He's, I mean, it, I mean, I, I can court. I can single handedly thank Pedro for saving a shot that uh, <laughs> wouldn't. We're, right, we were shooting in Ohio because uh, he was like, "Turn around and get that guy," because <laughs> he knew that was the important part. Uh -huh. and, and, and you know, he had a newer guy and everything. So, but um, yeah. So, uh, uh, 
And Marshall and Hentai had had a match because of something that was set up at the previous the previous show. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, Marshall <laughs> hit Hentai with a hot with a half eaten hot dog, <laughs> and then they used a chair. And then I walked into the ring stairs, <laughs> <laughs> all backwards, <laughs> trying to get out of their way. Yep. <laughs> so even before the lumberjack match. I was worse off than the actual lumberjack match. Because for the lumberjack match, it was literally five guys on one side of the ring and five guys on the exact opposite side of the most ring. Most of them were just out for the eight-man yeah. tag. <laughs> yeah, most of them had just been out there wrestling the eight-man tag, and they all stayed on the re- their respective side of the ring. Good guy side, bad guy yeah. side. <laughs> so I had nothing to worry about. But yeah, I, I, I freaked out because I did not know going into the show that there was a lumberjack match. And then, of course, at the end of the show, there's something that happens where the entire yeah, locker room the comes The entire out. locker room comes out. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to catch as much of it as possible. I'm saying, try to catch this over here. Yeah. Try to catch, because they're behind the camera at this point. I mean, I mean, I don't know how much stuff. I've never had anything. In, 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 you know, we had problems with the focus at the beginning. Yeah. Because just trying to, because you're on the other side of the ring. I'm like, dude, get over here. They're doing yeah. stuff over here. And, and, I've never had them come to the, <laughs> the the announcer booth behind the camera so many times. So <laughs> dealing with that was a lot of fun. But, so. um, yeah, it, and I, I was trying to catch stuff on one side of me. Mm-hmm. Didn't realize stuff was happening on the other side of me. And luckily, and I say luckily because it was just a cable, but, I mean, it, I, I almost got kicked <laughs> <laughs> because one of the wrestlers, I don't even know which one it was at that point, had his feet up getting ready to kick someone, uh-huh. and I backed into it, and his foot got caught in the cable <laughs> and yanked it out of the camera. So luckily the camera didn't get kicked, or I didn't get kicked. Yeah, straight. <laughs> but, yeah, it was uh, it was rough. I mean, it was a good show. Yep. I, I thought I did well. But you're having fun. Yeah, you're having fun. <laughs> I mean, ninety percent of my ninety percent of the shots in the trailer were mine. So. Yep. Yep. So well, but, they didn't have well. We did, and, and for those wondering for the like Clearfield DVDs, I know I've been very critical of them in the past. But there are two cameras. Yes. In this one, uh, Chachi, of course, at ringside, and we had a static camera with nobody on it, but uh, but it worked out. I think it worked out really good. People are really happy with how it's looking so far from the <laughs> stuff we posted online. So. Uh, so go check that out. I mean, it's it's been really a good experience to you know try to help improve this product from this end, you know. So, um, so yeah, really happy with it. Cool stuff. Um, yeah. and, and, this and is, one more, this, one more. This quick is going to have to be like our corner of the like cameraman's corner of cameraman's this, because this corner. is a different perspective we're doing here. Uh, but uh, anyways, I'm sorry, wrestle fan. Back to you. Uh, man, so it was really good. Uh, one quick note uh, in the Indie Minute. Thanks to our friends uh, in the San Antonio era at River City Wrestling. I went to their event Saturday, and it was a really great event. Uh, a lot of awesome stuff, which was headlined with the Headhunters uh, defeating uh, friend of the show Ray Rowe and Michael Faith in a great tag team match. Really, really surprising stuff. Um, just a couple notes about them. Uh, they have uh, now, they're now releasing merchandise on their website, which includes some T-shirts. Um, they have bumper stickers, but uh, soon enough they will also be releasing DVDs from their events, so you can also buy those. Nice, um, to- good, good. So maybe we can get some up here. Yeah, definitely. Go check them out. Um, also from that event last night, yeah, Chachi, you mentioned Lumberjack matches. Uh, also, AJ Summers defeating uh, Steve McEnroe in a fan lumberjack strap match. What? Which was very entertaining. Mm-hmm. Yes. I really want to see Chachi <laughs> do camera for a fan lumberjack strap match. Because that seems like a great idea. I quit. Every, everyone, 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 Just don't tell Chuck the idea. I quit. Everyone was very civil. Even that uh, there was like a seven year old kid that got a really good shot in. So. Hey, you never know. Um, But it was a fun event. They also announced that their next event will be, I believe, April 4th, uh, back at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, which will feature... uh, Wait, wait, is this this for the Lutheran uh, Church event, this poster here? I'm sorry? Is this poster for the Lutheran Church event? Well, it's not a church. It's not like it's a Christian wrestling federation. They just sort of run out of a church. (laughs) Because as I said last night, this poster doesn't speak wrestling to me. No. It looks well, like, no. I would say, I mean, I would it's, say it's, half it's, of it's that pictures, poster. It's pictures half of that poster. Of Elisa Flash, Alyssa Flash and uh, and Shelly Martinez. Oh, let me just check the inserts on the bulletin this week. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
that's uh, oh Jeebus. That, <laughs> um, that's an advertisement for a porn shoot. Show. I know, right? You know. Well, you know Shelly Martinez, but uh, they're going to be there. It's going to be a, definitely a great event. You can get your tickets uh, at RiverCityWrestling.net. Um, so go check them out. There will be um, there will be a really great event. Um, so yeah, how do and you that know? Is, I'm sorry. How do you know? Because I've been to like five of them and they're all really good. Which means they're due to have a bad one. <laughs> Chachi is... Well, Chachi they're going to have so no shortage of sexy so, in this next Chachi one. Chachi is so. so not a pessimist here on the wrestling <laughs> I'm just know. asking. I mean, no. chances are... I have not been to a bad show of theirs, ever. I'm just... You've been to five. Wow. Wow. Maybe. Anyways. Uh, Maybe. How do we know you're even going to these shows? How do we know you're even a wrestle fan? <laughs> How do we even know you're here right now? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. I yeah. Know. yeah. I don't know I what's going on yeah. anymore. Really? Yeah. I'm just talking to my dick. This is what's going on. <laughs> okay. Can I bend a spoon? I hope his roommate's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Is that all we have for Andy minutes? minute minutes for this week. All right. Excellent. And we're going to find name, out. Amen. That was more like Andy 10 minutes. We're going to find out what the hell happened to wheels here halfway through this show. <laughs> and and uh, oh, we're also going to take a look at a little bit again from uh, what we were talking about with IWC Wrestling and come back with an interview with Bingo O'Malley. Uh, who's part of the Death from Above, Kurt Angle, and uh, other TNA stars starring in that. Uh, the screener we went to a couple weeks ago, leading up to us uh, uh, showing our interview with Kurt Angle, the one and only. Uh, please check this out. This guy, actually, he, he's really cool. Uh, as you'll hear, he uh, does a lot of theater acting acting around the Pittsburgh area and, uh, and uh, has been in some other stuff like Super 8. And a lot of other big movies over the years. A long, long career in acting. Was uh, he look, the alien? What's that? Was he the alien in Super 8? I don't think he was the alien in Super ah. 8. So maybe you'll recognize him with this video. So we'll be right back with that. And then a little bit of Remember When. Notepad. <laughs> what have we done to oh, wrestle fans? Hey, I found Notepad. What have we, we done to wrestle fans? So so to tune in to Wrestling Mayhem Show Live. Is Chachi Co- what the hell? Oh, without me. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's backing up. <laughs> Three, two. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you liked that interview we had with uh, with that guy. Um, but right now I give you two men that made it rain testosterone. Two men who have ruined all other men for you. Guys, this is DJ Lunchbox of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and I am here with Bingo O'Malley, who played uh, Crazy Leonard in uh, Death from Above. We're here at the screener for that, and uh, but you've done you've done so much more than just uh, just the the show tonight. Well, like you said, I'm mainly a stage actor, you know, and that's any theater in Pittsburgh that I go by the play. I mean, uh, you know, when there's a good play, that that's what I want to do. But I mean, certainly it's it's fun doing film, you know. It's and it's more fun doing local ones. The ones that come in from Hollywood and various like New York or whatever, they're already cast. So you know, when you get a part in that, it's uh, minimal lines and uh, exposure. So this way, you get a lot more chance to work, you know, on on a character, and uh, and and it's fun because it's with people you know and. Uh, theater community here, first of all, you know, is very tight-knit anyway. And um, I, I think we root for one another more than other places do. So, uh, you know, it's, it's always enjoyable, even like a gathering like tonight. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's just good to be part of it. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. 
Excellent. Now, are you a, are you a Pittsburgh native? Oh yes, yes. Born and raised in Lower Oakland. And uh, for Pittsburghers, I mean, it's there is no South Oakland. Model Cities renamed us, but it was Lower Oakland. But uh, yes, yeah, right in the heart of Pittsburgh. Excellent. Now, um, now we are a, a wrestling show, and um, mm -hmm. during the film, you worked with a, a number of wrestlers, um, uh, including Kurt Angle and uh, James Storm. Uh, did you find it easy to work with them, or uh, are they oh, yeah. just like other actors? I, I mean, like first of all, they're, they're very giving, and um, and as far as they're they're willing to work with you, you know, which is wonderful for any actor. You know, for two actors to say yes, let's work together. Uh, you know, you're, you're bound to come up with something better than you would have if you tried to do it individually. So, yes, in that way, um, uh, I'm very impressed with, you know, how they approach the job that they have. And, uh, and, and it's been a pleasure so far. You know, and I know Kurt, uh, well, we knew his family, our, my family knew his family, you know. But uh, I've really gotten to know Kurt through doing the movies. Excellent. Uh, now, what is uh, what is up next for you? Uh, more films and the stage play? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, as far as the stage plays, I mean that that pretty much takes up three months of your time. You know, um, learning the lines, rehearsing, and of course, like you think about it all day long and dream about it at night. You have your actor's nightmare. <laughs> you know, so uh, I, I sort of slowed down on that. You know, and uh, so it's fun to do these kind of movies. First of all, because you, you get a chance to act, but it doesn't take as long, you know. Uh, and so that, that's, that's enjoyable, you know. And then in four days or five days or whatever it happens to be, you know, it's, it's done and you've accomplished whatever you set out to do in that. Whereas, like I said, you know, three months later, you're still sweating. And <laughs> right, right. Still on stage under the makeup. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Well, that's, that's excellent. Thank you so much uh, for joining us here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Bingo O'Malley, uh, Crazy Leonard, in, uh, in Death from Above. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. A nice guy like this comes along and splat. Roadkill. Hey everybody, welcome back to, to the uh, Wrestling Mayhem show. I hope you liked that interview with Bingo. Um, but now, I would like to look back in history in a segment we like to call, Remember When? Hey, you remember when The Rock's promos meant something? Because for the past few weeks, they haven't. I don't care who you are or what you're doing. They're, they just seem all linear. As we speculated here at, this, at the beginning, they put people to sleep. Bingo. Me. But... But no, the reason not, why not, not, not no, I'm not, I'm not bingo. the other bingo. No, 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 no. But I'm saying like his promos are linear, and it always follows one thing, and it, it worked back then. But now we see when someone, you know, shoots from the hip, he has nothing. He has nothing. So yeah. That was my remember when. <laughs> Electricity, big penis, jabroni, pie, whoop ass, blah, blah. Yep, there you go. Also, I want to thank the Riz for respecting the pause. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> thank you. <laughs> I did that in Lunchbox memory. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, it was, let's see. I don't listen to The Rock. I look at The Rock and listen to Rock. What? 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 I don't know, from the chat room. Uh, yeah, you need to talk to your wife. Yeah, you need, to, you need to do something about your intern. Up there. Um, <laughs> anyways, but thanks for that. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, because John Cena... It, I, the Rock is making John Cena look really good lately. Mm-hmm. To a point where I think people are going to be more towards him for him again. Um, 
Did anyone see? Did anyone get to see the after raw uh, segment? No. Nope. Oh. Basically, um, so John, because I mean, they were in Boston, which is John Cena's hometown, and you know, all of, uh, family and friends were there of his. Um, he he went after the cameras went off. He did. He grabbed the mic and uh, sort of thanked the fans for everything, uh, and thanked them mainly due to the fact that I believe his younger brother uh, was diagnosed with brain cancer or some form of like some some form of cancer. I uh, I forgot what kind it was, but um, that the, the tumor in his brain or where I yeah I believe it's his brain is uh, decreasing. And want to thank everyone. And I just look at that and I look compare it to like. Exact the, this week this week's raw to last week's raw. After after raw went off last week, the Rock basically uh, berates a fan for wearing a John Cena t shirt and calls him uh, transvestite and a you know and be, him being gay and a virgin. And then John Cena does this really really nice thing at the end where you know he thinks I I just feel like I think this and obviously it's not it wasn't you know their intention to do this, you know, about seeing them talk, talking and stuff like that. It was, you know, from, you know, from him. But it's just, it's interesting how, like, they're seen as just coming off as the, everyone hates him, but he's this re- he's really nice guy that sticks to, you know, what he is, and he is who he is, and, you know, he uh, supports and, you know, stands by his fans, and The Rock just comes off looking like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Which was what The Rock was, to be honest. And yeah. Isn't he, though? I mean, they, The Rock was a dick. The Rock was like, you you can't see me. And it turned into a character and people started cheering, cheering for him to be a dick. Yeah. And that's his character. Now it's, you know, he, he he's facing the baby face, you know, the super, super sugary baby face that's really kind of, and like he mentioned even, is in the same position he was when he started. You know, but better for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Well... Yeah. Let's see what Mad Mike has to say about this whole situation. And I guess he's got a story idea for Kane as well. Let's go to Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. Greetings, Mayhemers. It's once again Mad Mike here with your Minute of Mayhem. All right. WrestleMania is getting closer. And I have to say, I'm impressed The Rock showed up physically two weeks in a row. I love that Cena called him Captain Catchphrase. I think that is probably the most apt description of The Rock um, in recent memory. Because it's funny, when Rock was saying you strip away all the catchphrases, all the glitz and the glamour and everything, I was, while Rock was saying that, I said, well, what do you have? And Cena said the same exact fucking thing, which was perfect. Because Rock really doesn't have anything else if you strip away the catchphrases and all shit like that. Um... The history bits were okay, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure Rock forgets some of the ridiculous merchandise that he had. A uh, license plate with a Brahma bowl on it. Um, a towel. Uh, just other really random shit that The Rock had his name and likeness over. Uh, but anyway, the I think I finally figured out what is going on with this Rock Cena thing. Cena is, I mean, for those of you guys who have seen the movie Eight Mile, the final battle rap where, um, where Eminem's character just, like, rips on himself first and then destroys Papa Doc. I think that's kind of what Cena's doing, and it seems to be working pretty well, because even though, like, Cena is able to make fun of himself, it kind of negates the Rock doing it. Because if you're able to make fun of yourself, someone else saying the same exact thing isn't really going to bother you. Be a star, kids. Anyway, um, as far as the rest of Raw goes, I think it sucks that we're going to get Randy Orton versus Kane. I think that is horrible. I mean, it's probably due to Wade Barrett being injured. Because a perfect storyline would be having Johnny Ace come out next week, punish Santino, by having him defend the U.S. title against Kane, Kane wins, and boom, you have a kane Zack Ryder match for the U.S. Championship. Um, other things, the Teddy and Johnny storyline now has Kofi Kingston involved, poor Kofi. Um, 
it's gonna, next week though. Next week should be interesting with rock versus rap. Like we've never done that before. Um, also, Shawn Michaels being the referee in Hell in the Cell. Well, it kind of sucks. But, um, whatever. I'm sure it'll probably still be uh, one of the best matches on the card. I'm not saying the best, because I think we all know it's going to be Punk Jericho. Alright, well, that's it for me this week, guys. So, uh, take care. Shine your cane. Woo woo woo. You know it, bitches. Thanks, Mike, for your insight this week. Russell fan, I think you have some commentary. Yeah, well, and and Matt Mike mentioned it before, and I, I'm standing by this point because I love Zack Ryder. I think you know all the stuff Zack Ryder's done has been amazing and awesome, and you know, good on him for you know uh, for rising being to Zack the top. Ryder. What for being Zack Ryder? For being Zack Ryder, I don't think Zack Ryder's ever seen a crippled person in his life. <laughs> I don't think he knows how it works. <laughs> okay. Like, seriously, he was downgraded from a broken back to a herniated disc, and now to he Charlie, just walks with a limp. To Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, like, I don't mind the fact that he has a cane. It's just, at least know how to walk with the cane. Act like the cane is somehow supporting you. <laughs> like, he's, it looks like he's just walking with a cane. Like, just has the cane in his hand and just walking like with a little bit of a limp. The point of the cane is to support you. Like, he looks like, and I, I forgot who quote, uh, someone said this, that he look. the only time anyone holds a cane like that is if you're in Boys to Men, okay? <laughs> and that, so no, False. Zack Ryder, please, just just go on the street, watch, see what a crippled person does. Like, seriously. Oh, that's, that's what? what? <laughs> that's no, I'm serious, because he doesn't know have how you, to have do Have you it. watched House? I don't think, have well, you? how, but... He 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 comes. House even does it like with a little, you know, makes it seem like like he crouches a little bit or slouches. But Ryder was just walking with a cane, just like upright walking. Seriously, I don't I don't get that. All right, so uh, Russell fan is a critic of uh, where is wheels when you need? Him? I know, right? <laughs> I know. I just... He rolled away when he was talking when we were talking to him. I guess so. Um. I guess somebody was at the door again. Um, anyways, what drugs are you on? They say in the chat room. <laughs> and also on that other point about the garden gnomes. Oh, what is this? Is this a rock gnome? Whoa. whoa. Ah. Okay, first, uh, uh, time out. Gnome. Time rock. out. What? We cannot make fun of the rock for ridiculous catchphrases and having a gnome. And here's why. Okay. Okay, I mean, yes, his catchphrases are ridiculous, <laughs> all right? Now, you are a big rock fan. I love The Rock. I remember having to get a big foam Brahma Bowl when I went yes. to a live show for you. I love The Rock. Yes. I still have that Brahma Bowl somewhere. Or you have it somewhere. I thought, no, I thought I got destroyed. Did it? I thought I got messed up at your place some, somewhere along the line. Did the rock from bowl finger have the same fate as Randy one sandwich? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Did your dog yeah. eat that too? It might have. Or kid sister or something? Uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll fig- I'll figure kid it out. Sister. But um, anyhow, I, I am a huge rock fan. I like the rock. Yeah. I like I like most of the stuff he does. I said but most. Because, I mean, they're still like... Most of the stuff 10 years ago. Like Tooth Fairy and stuff that... I <laughs> By the way, I gotta say, speaking of chants, I love that Tooth Fairy became a yes. chant last night. I don't know Are you guys chanting Tooth Fairy, Massachusetts? <laughs> 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 but, Anyways, um, bar, sorry. It, 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 we're, uh, we're criticizing The Rock for the same exact thing that we cheer R- Zack Ryder for. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> yep. Every week. <laughs> Ridiculous <laughs> catchphrases. Uh huh. And his name on anything he can. Well, I think. He was Chachi, the first you, one with a gnome. Chachi, I know you didn't listen to the show last week. <laughs> like, the point like, we we're trying to make is. Can like, we not point that out on the show? <laughs> well, no, this, I'm, I'm making this a valid point. It's only a third you time. mentioned last week how. You know, this the rock thing, he's doing the same stuff he did 10 years ago. The and that's is, the point. The, the problem is, it doesn't work in 2012. No, it doesn't work in 2012. But, I don't think whole... it's necessary. Go ahead. I don't think it's necessary the fact that he uses catchphrases. I feel the fact that 
he, anytime he makes an argument, it's that someone's a transvestite, or someone's gay, or someone doesn't have balls, or someone's a virgin. That's where it's obvious that this is a different era that he's from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and isn't up with the times, because it's like, ah, it's not really that cool to make fun of that anymore. Right. Remember when Glad had a problem with that a couple of weeks ago with your Twitter and and the WWE is a public company? There's a reason for that. Doing that. It, it's a different time. So his catchphrases and his promos don't work. Yeah. And we all admit that. Yeah. However, mm-hmm. the whole point of this match at WrestleMania, from WWE's standpoint and pushing, is it's two generations of wrestlers clashing. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing exactly what they wanted to do. And it's not like there isn't an audience out there that is eating up everything that comes out of his mouth. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's definitely there's definitely that going on. So, I mean, you know, us, we're looking at it with a very critical eye and saying, oh, I don't think, you, you know, that makes sense, you know, uh, but 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 really, this is working on some level for a lot it's of not, people it, that are going to buy a lot of WrestleMania pay per views. Yeah, it's it, not that it doesn't make sense. It's just, it kind of shows, like, the mind of a wrestling fan in a way. Because mm-hmm. it's just like, I don't know. It's just people, you know, you call him. Rock calls Cena a tra- looks like a was it transvestite Wonder Woman, and like everyone cracks up laughing because it's like, oh, he said transvestite. It's funny. No, they're laughing because he said transvestite Wonder Woman, and that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not, well, you, I don't you're, know. You're you're taking the wrong part of the comment away. Mm-hmm. You have to look you, at. You think it's the Wonder Woman part? Yes. No. You have to look at it as a whole. Yeah. You can't yeah. just say, oh, he called John Cena Wonder Woman, because he didn't. And you can't just say, oh, he called John Cena transvestite, because he didn't. What he called John Cena was a transvestite Wonder Woman. Yeah. Which is well, the, the wonder, goes, which is the, the same... insult, and that's what's funny. Yeah, the same thing goes for Kung Pao Bitch, though. Which I still don't like, and I think it's... <laughs> no, it's, that, that one wasn't funny. But, I mean, and it just goes back to the, the previous statement that 10 years ago, the stuff was gold. But the problem was, we listened to it for so long. And then he disappeared. And it evolved. For so long. And that's the other thing. I think we had this problem before because I think we had a conversation early on with The Rock that The Rock hasn't evolved. Yeah. Which is why he left. For 10 years. Which, but but I think think a lot of these guys, like, you know, The Rock isn't The Undertaker. I mean, if he was around for the the entire time, he would have reinvented himself and everything instead of just dropping in, being what he was Mm. five years ago last time he was there, and then dropping back out. Um,. He came in for a Diva Search Pioneer contest, and then he left. And then he came in to make fun of Jonathan Coachman, and he left, yeah. you know? I mean, John Cena's evolved, you know? John yeah. Cena's evolved from even two years ago, you know? We say, oh, he's the same, much. he's the same. But pull up, pull, up a ma- pull up a promo from two years ago. He's a bit of a different character. There's more development to him. Uh, Has yeah. Taker evolved? Taker's evolved. I hey, mean... Hey. Me, I mean, really, at this point, well, I mean, what was <laughs> that? I mean, okay, but but Taker, Taker, you can say, is that the same same thing, too? Because uh, post uh, coming back to the dark side, Taker hasn't been around enough. Like, they've done stuff with him. They got rid of Bear, and there was interesting stuff there. Um, American th- Badass. There's been stuff happening to his character since American Badass, which would be the last huge evolution he did. He's returning back He's to his He's bald roots. now. And yeah, if this isn't a freaking evolution, I don't know what is. Right. I think I think that right. and the coming after Triple H, I, it's not an evolution. It, it's a it's a next step for the character. It's a development for the character. You know, we've been stuck with The Rock uh, on his on his Cena uh, vendetta. That's we've been stepping through. Normally, we get this much promo time in between three months instead of an entire year. And I think that's why it's seeming very long in the tooth to us. I, it's it's I, it's ramping up, and I, but but we're f- several weeks out from this. There's a lot of time to ramp because if yeah. they, you know well, they could ramp all this out, get three rock showings in a row, and then not not have them for three weeks for because of his busy schedule, and then and that blows out anything. And that's the thing, though. And that's the thing that's kind of like a, a screwdriver mentioned in his email. We've been barbarded 
uh, I mean, last night alone, with the amount of promo, with the build to the Rock and Cena, they have a month left. Yeah. yeah. Till Mania. Hey. I'm next sorry. Week. I'm going to get annoyed after a while. Next week. Oh God! Don't the even rock talk to me about rap, next week. The rap battle rock concert. That's oh. right. Oh, I don't gonna be I don't anyway. You know what's more interesting than The Rock and John Cena doing a battle rap or whatever they're doing? Hmm. Jack Swagger parted his hair. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> the other no, big event from Raw last night. Jack Swagger Rock parts his hair. Man. Man. And also, Santino hey. is a champion. Yay! Yay! Hey. That was happy. That was happy. Take oh, care. And, and part your hair. And the turn of? Yes. Black Ref. Black, Black Ref's back! Ref. Yeah! <laughs> uh, there, and, uh, in the chat room, in the hangout, I, I we all cheered when is. we noticed him. No, no, none still of us know his name. name no, it's unfortunate. Um, but there was, there's a lot of going on. We're not seeing the same promo over and over again like we were la- like two months ago so it is definitely ramping up they're doing a lot with it my god how much can they be doing here <laughs> uh in the next week so we'll see it's going to be a challenge and, and and wwe always ends up pulling out stay in there part your hair says sonic screwjob in the chat i will say i like the fact that jack swagger parted his hair really? at least he doesn't have like the generic like rest heel wrestler hair you know at least if like it fits his character more Okay. You know, he's all American American and he's a bit of a nerd and he may have Down syndrome, so he parts his hair. I responded to his tweet last night, just America, all caps. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah. I went well, no, another interesting raw. I mean, just very promo heavy and everything like we're used to, especially at this point. I bet um, the live crowd loved last night's oh raw. Oh boy. Oh boy. With a big show Miz match, that was half the time of the Divas match. Yeah. Yeah, um, the intern made up a good point. Was it made up? Just made they it up. Made a good point. Okay. Is my hair parted? No, no. That's not the point you're trying to make. Oh, okay. That wouldn't the transvestite Wonder Woman beat China? Yes, pretty oh, much. Oh no, they're bringing back China. <laughs> He's gonna. Oh, she's gonna be in his corner at WrestleMania. Mm. <laughs> and everybody got sick. Mm. Oh. Um, but I, I mean, Rob was good last night. So I got to see yeah, AJ. I got to see Oksana. I got to Syphilis. see David Tunga. Syphilis. <laughs> Syphilis. AJ showed her. Showed his don't you? Oh, the other AJ. Oh. Don't you tell me David Tunga has syphilis? Okay. Wow. Uh, maybe that's his medicine in the coffee mug. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, in other news, uh, some cool stuff that WWE is doing is they're going to release a new Cash- Clash of the Champions DVD. The old hmm. WCW uh, show um, or series or wait, wait, there are events. There was like, what, 20, yeah. 30 of them or something. They, but they it, was, were, it was basically like the In Your House. But they were on TBS. They were everything. free on TV. Yes, they were. Started in, well, the matches go back to 1988. Like, according to this article over here on Wrestle Zone, um, that, that just gave me an idea. I would love WWE to release an in your house best of in your house DVD. <laughs> there you go. Not well, as story that one. Not part. as storied as Starcade and uh, and uh, you know the Clash of the Champions. Um, what do you mean that one part, Riz? Yeah. Yeah, that okay. okay yeah, yeah, that part, that part. Yeah, yeah, that, that part yeah. where the guy, you know, crashed. <laughs> oh, that wasn't in your house. Mm, no, I don't, I don't think they were in your house. No, it well, wasn't. It was like, I guess it wasn't. Was it? No, it was a, it was a regular pay per view. What, what is that? <laughs> it had a name that was a bat, a ball, with Undertaker. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> it's a really bad Photoshop. Baldur Taker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, how old was WrestleFan in '88? Is being asked in the chat room. I was negative <laughs> five. <laughs> negative five. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it looks like it's good stuff on here. You got some. So I'm, uh, gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna love buying that DVD. Everything is gonna be new to me. Exactly. Flair versus Sting. Anderson Blanchard versus Lex and Windham. Uh, Anderson Blanchard versus Sting and Dusty Rhodes, uh, Ricky Morton versus Ivan, Ivan Koloff, Ricky Morton, wow, I quit match between Flair and Funk, 
Mil Mascaras versus Cactus Jack Manson. Huh. Huh. Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express, you know. <laughs> we, oh, it looks like some pretty just Sting and Ravishing Rick Rude. Uh, there's a Battle Royal, Young Pistols, and Z-Man versus the Fabulous Freebirds. The Flare Luger. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty good. Brian, there's a Brian. I'd, I'd buy that there's movie. a Brian Pillman versus Stunning Steve Austin on here from '93. Wow. Lord Steven Regal, <laughs> Dustin Rhodes. The they, Hollywood weren't they the Hollywood Blondes? Um, yeah, yeah, Pillman yeah. and Austin. So it must be before they got together, or after. Um, I think that was after. Be. Steamboat versus yeah. uh, Steamboat versus Austin for the U.S. Championship. Wow. Hogan, oh, Ma- wow. Hogan, Hogan and Macho Man versus Flair and the Giant. Big show. Um, <laughs> Medusa versus Bull Nakano. Bull Nakano. <laughs> wow. 35 <laughs> Clash of the Champions they had total. Chachi, give, give Bobby 10,000 points. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's even a Thunder Cage match on the DVD. There are the Blu ray exclusive content. They have like three more matches. Thunder Cage? Thunder Cage. You don't know the Thunder oh. Cage? Man. Thunder Cage, really? I think there's one of those WCW Thunder, Thunder Cage. They had one of those in um, on the Steel Cage uh, DVD they had on Netflix. Um, now this is all just as WCW uh, Thunder. That's not what I'm looking for at all. Lino versus Tiger. There you go. There you go. Post Blondes uh, says Sonic. So it must be after they broke up. Um but yeah, there's that. Hey, we didn't talk about this last week, I don't think. There's a line of shirts that was released on WWEshop.com. Uh, Kayfabe tees. What do you guys think of these? I don't like it. They're very plain t-shirts that say, yeah, Heel Jobber, I got heat, I'm so over, what's your finish? I mean... Uh, I, I don't like it because the t-shirts are plain. I don't like it because, I'm sorry, I don't want us to open the business, like... Like oh, no, you know, no, no, you know, it's not even that. I mean, it's 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 them cashing in. The problem is, all these shirts have been done before and so much better by yeah. other people. Even um, John Lauren Nice's Future Endeavor shirt has been done before. Yeah, yeah, uh, I see them selling at, at, at uh, 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 Chikara. They're, they're on their website. Yeah, I can't gim- go to go to gimmick. Uh, what is it? Gimmick tees? Is it gimmick tees? Yeah, I think it or is. gimmicks. Yeah, something like that. They do much better shirts. And there's that. a bunch of shirts of like people that have been future endeavored by the WWE with the shirts on. It was great stuff. Uh, maybe it's just gimmickwear.com. Uh, let me see here. Or some some uh, it's like gimmicks something. But yeah, I've seen they 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 sell uh, what is it? Uh, I heart heels or I heart faces T-shirts and yeah, this isn't the one. <laughs> this has nothing to do with wrestling at all. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, but uh, it, it's yeah. It, it just feels like a cheap cash in. Um, I think the botch spot uh, about this uh, was was maybe on the mark where where uh, they. Uh, oh, it's gimmicks with one M apparently. Oh, oh well. The, yeah, there's an I. Yeah, I love rats T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Stuff I hate like marks. That. Super jobber. <coughs> hey, okay, let me see. Like, but no, like like this one where they have on botch spot, uh, uh, Undertaker and Triple H pop up and says, "You're going to do an excellent job on that, right?" Wrong answer. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's um, yeah, it just seems like a quick cash in, and, uh, and you know you're going to be everyone's going to be so cool and have these. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I just I don't know. It's not I a garden it. gnome. <laughs> Like, I get it. It's a market. No, no, it's not a garden gnome. No, it isn't. And it's also not the Mrs. New shirt. Which is, which is pretty awesome, too. Yes. If we're going to talk about stuff in the store, then we're going to talk about the Mrs. New <laughs> shirt. <laughs> what, what, did we just turn to Wrestling Mayhem Show QVC? Yeah. Something like that. Why don't you want this? And, uh, yeah. This, this uh, is a moth. A quacker factory. I mean, a horse. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm not wearing. Yeah, a sorry, you gotta sweater. wear an oversized sweater with a bunch of different things on it. A bedazzled sparkly ass. Yeah, I'm bedazzled with a headband. Do I need a yellow lot too? This is a horse. Oh, you just called me out, there, didn't you? Um, I'm gonna call your mom out. So, in other moves, news. Oh. Uh, this was. Oh man, this isn't the right one. So we 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 talked before about the Kickstarter about zombies versus uh, wrestlers. 
yeah. movie? And they, 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 they yeah, Wheels. How's that going? Oh, Wheels isn't here. Oh, Wheels oh. Isn't here. And the internet has still swallowed him whole, so we're going to try to call him again. Um, that's why I was holding out on this story a little bit. Um, yeah, so later, the $30,000, it was a pretty steep Kickstarter. Um, I was kind of skeptical on whether they would make it or not, to be honest. Me uh, too. I, I mean, I just had that level, yeah, that that much money needed. Yeah. Uh, but I guess right under the wire, thirty thousand dollars, twenty thirty thousand and twenty six dollars. <laughs> they made it. <laughs> uh, with was sixty five backers. Uh, that's tremendous uh, that they got that Kickstarter. Really has a lot of great Bro, stories come out there uh, out of it. So uh, so here's hoping. Uh, you know, we see more of this come out, and uh, we see a movie down the line. So, uh, great for everybody to back that. You know, I hope they get something there. Oh, there's G Raver that's been on the show a couple of weeks ago. Uh, thanks to Wheels, who again is not here. Um, and, uh, so, so keep an eye on that. Is yeah. it 65 backers? 65 backers for $30,000. So there are some big ones. <laughs> there is a bunch of people in there that are going to be eating, uh, wrestlers eating as zombies. Or something like that. Yeah, remind me after the show to tell you how much that averages out. To. <laughs> <laughs> do the math. I do did. the math. I got a calculator. Did the math. How many so, was it? 60. 65 backers. Oh, if you want me to say it on air, I'll say it on now, air. How, what does that average out to? $462 a piece. So there are some big oh, backers that wow. dropped in yeah. there at the last minute. Yeah. yeah. That's in, I don't, and there's a couple from Johnstown. Oh, I'm sorry, New York. Uh, <laughs> Well, they're from all over Bobby. too. I'm, it was me. Bobby, it. it was Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. It was Bobby single handedly oh. saved this. Well, they're from all over too. They're some from Texas, from Sacramento, from DC. So That's... it was you, Russell fan. It was me. I donated. <laughs> I, I used all my student loans to pay for this movie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I just love it so much. There you go. He's an executive producer. The money he got from college prom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, if I'm the executive producer, Chachi, you're the first one getting eaten. <laughs> oh, that was that was. You apologize. No. Yes. Why would yeah. I? Because they said so, bitch. You clap for Alaska. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 he buttoned it up. <laughs> he, he just connected the past two shows. Okay. Yeah, I did, yeah. Amen. <laughs> um, <In> Jesus' name, <laughs> amen. Jesus name, amen. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, I don't think, I think that's all there is for news. Unless Speaking you guys have anything you want to bring week, up. Yes? Didn't, didn't we talk about that whole CM Punk and uh, Chris Brown thing? Yeah, yeah, I think we did. Because there's an update I just saw on, in the notes. Okay. Oh no! That uh, Sean Merriman is now backing Chris Brown. I guess he's a friend of his. Uh, Sean Merriman of the Buffalo Bills. Uh, what? But he should be talking. It's my team. <laughs> because this is the same Sean Merriman who, oh, I don't know, beat up Tequila. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so they run in yeah. packs. Okay. Yeah, they, they they're grouped together. So, oh yeah, abusers back each other. So, Sean Merriman, your point on this matter invalid. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, bitch. Really don't represent my face. team. So yeah. What? Uh, what is? What the fuck? What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm reading some of the quotes from this. Uh, I ain't a hater at all, but if you like dudes tanning by the pool in a thong, that's cool. I think he had pillows on his stomach. What's with all the about fucking punk. gay jokes by this people? It's like, what the hell? This, I mean, this is this is what these people did. They're very yeah. everyone they're football players. They're, like they're, they're super the macho, and, uh, and uh, everyone assumes yeah. that a re- that wrestlers are gay mm-hmm. yeah, because they take care of their bodies and they tan. And you yeah, because you haven't eaten a, a bit of chode when you're on the field, asshole. What? 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 As, as far as like football players go, and thus begins the Sean Merriman Wrestle Wrestle Fan feud. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go tell him how it is, Wrestle Fan? Yeah, Wrestle Fan who doesn't beat women. Yo, you're uh, not. <laughs> I don't beat women either. Yeah. <laughs> Neither do I. Can, can we? Can we just say a memorandum that nobody on this show beats yes. women? <laughs> make that like clear. we did. Wait. Because I mean, we already did that, but no let's just reiterate that nobody. We. I think we're all in the same camp here. We run in our own pack, just like these guys. Um, 
There are no <laughs> people, as, as Sonic says in the chat room, people who beat together tweet together. Um, nice. There you I go. should be on a shirt. Wow. That could be taken in two, two That's ways. That's a t-shirt idea. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you wear it? Then not be uncomfortable. Oh, your wife's mean, uh -huh. Sorg. To church. Oh, no. yes. Wait, Russell, fan, in Jesus' name. I mean, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> I need to get to church this weekend. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, other than that, well, let's go around. I think it's time. I won't uh, be going to church this weekend. You won't be because we're working. Because yeah. <laughs> we'll be at Denny's at 3 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's your that's your sanctuary. Uh, John, John brought up a, a good point. Hmm. We don't beat women because most of the mayhem women would beat us. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> and there is video of that happening. Yeah. It is true. That's some classic video. Yeah, right there. A wrestle fan would have to interact with women to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Chachi's oh. 20 seconds behind on what I just said. Yeah, that's because no one listens to what comes out of your mouth, bitch. Oh, <laughs> oh in our news, TNA Impact High was five. actually pretty good this week. Lies. No? No, uh, it actually know. was. I didn't watch it. So no, I watched it. I watched it today. I think yeah. they actually had wrestling. It was pretty good. It was, was pretty cool. good. Well, yeah. well, that's what TNA does anymore. We, that's where you go if you actually want to watch wrestling. That and NXT. We uh, where Regal's now in charge. We have that great. role where if you didn't watch it, you can't say anything. Mm. So, so it's just, just me. Yeah, I was no, just, just me and Sword. Oh, go read Man Mike's column on that. Uh, you know, other than that, hey, wrestle fan. Hey, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned from wrestling this week that this Teddy Long, John Laurinaitis feud, you know, say, oh, John Laurinaitis is boring. He shouldn't be on TV, blah, blah, blah. Hey, if he gets Oksana more screen time, that's fine by me. Especially her <laughs> doing her horn thing. And yes, that's as sexual as it sounds. Bobby. I learned that Santino may be the greatest superstar of our generation. <laughs> Good, Briz. I learned Santino is is the greatest superstar <laughs> of our generation. Wheels. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, poor oh. 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 Chachi says what? Chachi says... What? What? Touch your, touch your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Chachi says... Uh, no, uh, what I learned from wrestling this week... Um... Yeah, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> really? Oh, uh, really? No. The whole weekend, you didn't learn anything? No. Actually, like what how I... you don't like lumberjack matches? <laughs> <laughs> what I learned this week in wrestling is that uh, the ringside cameraman is not the only guy that notices wrestlers' bulges. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> and and <laughs> that the shortest guy in the locker room, he usually has his biggest bulge. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, wow. No, actually, I was not. <laughs> this is all part of a discussion on the way oh. back. And we also, I learned, I learned, uh, this is a guesstimation, but I learned that uh, I think everybody that's heading home from a wrestling show that was participating is talking about sweet bulges. Yes. So, Man, now I feel like, sick. That's, that's why you randomly <laughs> brought out bulges when I called you so Yes, that's it. <laughs> Like, okay, I'll buy the DVD then. Like, the discussions after the show like that they are just <laughs> incredible. Hey, um, Missy learned that a lumberjack match isn't as daunting as a title match that's not supposed to be a lumberjack <laughs> match. <laughs> also from the chat? Since you're there. Oh, uh, screw job learned that Shawn Michaels thinks Triple H is an oak and TNA was actually pretty good. Also, that uh, John Cena troll sinks in water, and that Missy, it blew Missy's mind that that conversation was happening, and she was the only woman in the car. Oh! Yes. I forgot I, forgot I learned one more thing. Okay. Uh, John Cena's cologne can clean a uh, body of water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it, the, oh, is oh, it, oh, wait, wait, wait. The water's yeah. sparkling now. Uh, the Rock is... What half horse? <laughs> oh, yeah, is that what is that what is twenty five percent black, twenty five percent Samoan, fifty percent uh, yeah. what do you say? Black Clydesdale. Black st yeah, no, Clydesdale. he didn't say black style. Yeah. He said Clydesdale. Uh, Clydesdale. Clydesdale. Yes. And random random hats fly at the rock at a, at, so, uh, at a moment's notice. The rock is 
a centaur <laughs> um, <laughs> who has the ability to call hats to him at any time. You guys wow. talking about the rock again? No. Yes. Oh, oh. Hi. Good morning, Riz. <laughs> We're done. Good morning, morning. Riz. Uh, I learned. I learned. Uh, one. Uh, if you see a Chinese dragon around ringside, don't take the dragon off because what you might find underneath is scarier and creepier. <laughs> creepier. <laughs> you creepier. If you have a muscle ceremony at the ring, you must bring a uh, nun wearing bright red pumps. <laughs> Yes, I'm very angry about it too. Yes. Um and also uh from wrestling I learned that the rock hates the environment. And um, um we're what still else? going? Are we what still else? going? What else did we say we learned? What else um, did we say? Uh actually I just wanted to comment that if the rock says he's half Clydesdale, yeah, which means he's packing, that means his bulge has to be huge. He's got a super sweet bulge. Yeah. Okay, now that we've turned that corner, guys, this has been the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check out more about us over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. On Twitter, we're at Mayhem Show. we got the Facebook page. we got the Facebook group where a lot of conversation is happening. We're over on the Google Plus. We're doing Google Hangouts every Monday night during Raw. We're except right for Chachi. Here, except for Chachi. Uh, he's off on his Stop own. Stop sending them to talking me. Talking about sweet bulges. Um... <laughs> That's right. Don't look under the dragon. Um, we uh, are also... Oh, yeah. You can email us at goodtimes good time. Good time. at wrestlingmayhemshow.com or call us we at 412-206-WMS0. 9670 for you on your rotary phone. That's right. Let's up zeros. Um, <laughs> Who is a rotary phone? Did you say what's up zeros? No, lots of zeros. Oh, so lots of zeros. Away. Oh, yeah. Like you get motherfucker, you all yeah. these zeros. <laughs> yeah. Um, one eight hundred, my ass. I remember those days. Um, <laughs> the fuck, where were we? <laughs> oh, hey, we we're here. Eight thirty. Why were you calling one eight hundred? That's so violent. One <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, we're, we we are here live. dot media. dot com. Uh, every here. Tuesday night at eight thirty p.m. Eastern. Whereabouts? Uh, stop in early. You can catch stuff that doesn't make it to the show and other stuff uh, and chime in as well. Hey, Chachi, you got something to talk about real quick before we go here that you you are a part of. What am I a part yeah, of? That new thing you know, that you started that we talked about the last show. the only person a part of that. that this thing right here. Oh, that I just posted yeah. that. I just yes, posted. you did just uh, post that. <laughs> <laughs> like literally like five minutes He's ago. He's not the only one who posted no, uh, there too. Insert coin yeah. to begin dot com. It's the new gaming news site mm -hmm. that I am basically the the boss of. Editor in chief. Yeah, yeah he is pretty editor much. in chief Jackson of boss. um yeah, I I yeah. recruited uh, some of the Mayhemers, Riz and Bobby, to write stories hello, for hello. me. And for me, I mean for me. They send them to me, and then I post them under my name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. And uh, Sorg sends me crap all the time that I usually post because it's good stuff. Um, but uh, no, uh, the the purpose of Insert Coin to begin is it's not a a, a, a game site for or, not. It's not a game site that's uh, backed by any corporations or any large media outlet. Uh, this is a gaming site for gamers, by gamers. It basically means that we can say uh, things that other people can't. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what gives us an edge. Mm -hmm. Because we can put our opinions there and not have to worry about losing sponsors or not have to worry about uh, our bosses coming and yelling at us because we made a company look bad. Chachi's going to yell at us. We're, we're allowed yeah. to have opinions. Chachi's the only one that's going to yell at us. Listen, the only thing that I don't want you guys to do is to use the F word. Why the fuck not? Because <laughs> that's pushing it. You can be angry, but you don't have to use the fuck word. Can we just type ARG real big in capital letters? Yeah, if you want to. All right. Or I'm use, do that the whole article. Or use like, arr, arr, arr. Or, or Q bird it. Censor. Yeah, or Q bird it. <laughs> Q bird it. You bird. I mean, that's all I'm asking. Excellent. So, Excellent. I mean, yeah, check it out. Go check insert, that out. Insert coin to begin .com. You can follow us on Twitter. It's a, at insert coin TB. And we're on the Facebooks if you just do a insert coin to begin search. 
we'll Bingo. pop up. And it's all linked from the website, too, so yeah. go check it out there. Uh, same with the Wrestling Mayhem Show.com. That's all it's the same. So, uh, thanks, everybody. Everybody in the chat room has been great. Sonic Screwdriver, Bobby's Flodger, Lil John, uh, and whoever else swung by there throughout the night. I can't remember. Uh, guys, everybody wave. See you guys next wave. week. Mayhem Show. Ah!